as is the case for many industries except perhaps for telecoms. The insurance sector had its returns curtailed by the slow demand due to COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting lockdowns. According to a report by the sector regulator, overall premiums for the third quarter of 2020 fell by 14% compared to the premiums in the same time in 2019. This, in real terms, means that for quarter 3 2020, the gross return premiums for the whole industry were 818 billion shillings, lower than 974 billion for the same quarter in 2019. Notable, especially for the sector regulator, is that there are good strides towards serving the micro end of the market. Uh, when you look at uh, the performance of uh, the companies, there are those you may uh, have reasons to believe that uh, the bulk of the premiums they have underwritten is for corporate clients. But there are those who are also looking at the small or the micro or the smaller uh, deposits or uh, smaller uh, people for that matter. But, and they are doing well. So that gives us the impression that the high end are being served and the low end uh, is also being served. It is envisaged that one of the approach to grow the size of the insurance market still below 1% penetration would be by regulation to deepen the capacity of the players. You definitely remember we said we'll be looking at a capital adequacy ratio of not less than 200%. So that means that the company's capacity to underwrite big business will be enhanced and then their written premiums will improve. Jubilee and UAP remain the industry big boys for this quarter in terms of gross premiums with Sunlam in the third place and Britain in the fourth.